So. I got a kayak. This green one's dirty. So I got a kayak, obviously. Uh, it's a cheap one. You can get these at Walmart. Uh, I think anywhere from three to four hundred dollars. Uh, I got mine used, so I got it for a little cheaper. It's pretty cheap, so I couldn't pass it up. Also, uh, I've been kind of interested in getting into the kayak fishing stuff. So, um, I actually have had it out already and put it this way. Okay, so I am, I'm not a small boy, okay? Um, I'm a little, I don't know. A little, you know, muscle. You know, nothing but solid muscle. One big ab right here in the center on my, on my, uh... See, look at that ab. See that? About 210, 215 pounds on average. That's what I weigh. This kayak is not made for fat people. Sorry, guys. It's just not. I got on it and almost went in the water. Not because, like, it sank because I'm too fat, but because... How do I put this? it's really wobbly side to side so in this kayak intro introduction for you guys I have uh, I'm also going to be doing a video on me constructing some outriggers uh, if you don't know what an outrigger is is basically two arms that will stick out on either side of the kayak with a flotation device under those which keeps the kayak more stable you won't roll it over for fat people right so we're gonna go over how to install some outriggers or how I'm going about installing some custom outriggers uh, I'm not using any plans that anyone's make on the internet I'm just kinda going my own way I have looked into some of them uh, and I'm using you know some of those ideas and I'm kinda working in my own stuff whatever it's pretty you know all around the basic same thing what I'm doing essentially is I'm getting some PVC or electrical piping I'm using these two holes as my my basis. Now, how I'm going to fasten it in these holes, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'm thinking I might pull these screws out and then drill through on the outside of these hole, uh, tubes into the pipe that I'll be putting in here. Uh, right now, I'm measuring out, you know, just doing some measurements. Um, I'm going to finish getting these measurements and then I'm going to go to the hardware store, Lowe's or whatever, and get some pipe and then I'm going to come back and get started. So, uh, cue the fast motion. All right, so went to Home Depot. Didn't take the camera in because I didn't think you all would want to watch me pick out pipe and PVC stuff for like 30 minutes because that's not what this channel's about. So, anyways, um, I went and got. I'll show you what I got. I got a 10 foot section of inch and a half PVC. Uh, this is like electrical conduit. It's not. It's not for like plumbing. It's you'll you'll find this in the electrical section. I got that because it's cheaper, and also because you can get these nice-looking round pieces, slide angles, instead of like the hard 90-degree angles, like this. These will be used, but they're only going to be used for like right here to like hold it up, and then right here when the where the outrigger goes into the water. So there's that. Let me show you guys what I got though. All right, cement, PVC cement. This is gonna hold the stuff together. Uh, I'm not gonna be using cement on every single spot uh, because I wanna be able to take the outriggers off and use it without the outriggers. Well, not use it, but I wanna be able to take the outriggers off so I can put it in the truck without having them stick out like stupid arms. Got four of these inch and a half T's. Okay, got some spray paint. Pretty close to the same color. That's what I was going for.
Okay, we've got two of these guys, as you can see. Got caps. These caps go on the end of the pipe. Just like that. Four of those. <coughs> got some bolts. Stuff like that. That's going to hold it in to the actual kayak. And that's it. So, what am I going to be using as a flotation device? I'll show you. For now, I'm going to be using buoys. This is just temporary until uh, I find something I like better or cheaper. But I have some of these and I never really use them. So I'm thinking, hang a couple of these bad boys off the side and fasten them on in a way that they won't come off. And I think I'll be, I think I'll be good. Yeah. So that's my first modification. Um, I'm gonna go get the tools. And I'm going to start doing a little draw out, doing some measurements, and I'm going to start. So here we go. I messed up. So, here's what I did wrong. I measured these holes at an inch and a half. I went and got inch and a half, as you can see, inch and a half, inch and a half hose, tube, right? Won't go in. Because this inch and a half means the inside here is inch and a half, not the outside. Won't go in. But it's okay. I'll have to go back to the store. I'm gonna have to get two of these returned. And what I do is they make they make reducer tees. They make like it's just like this. Let me put it down. It's just like this, except this bottom part is actually smaller. It goes down to a smaller two uh hose or tube or whatever so I can still use everything else here except for two of these guys I'll just have to go back and change out two of these and then get some uh, little short pieces to go in the holes on the kayak and I'll have to make sure I get inch and a half outer diameter not inner diameter and then I'll have to do some some finagling trying to find one of these that'll work inch and a half to whatever that is going to be. So, ah, I guess I got to go back, keep going. We'll get her figured out. I'll be right back. Okay, got the new stuff. Let's keep going. I'm not going to make like, I'm not going to make a really like instructional video. I'm just going to zoom through this and then after I'm done, uh, I'll just go ahead and like show you guys what I did. I'm not going to go into so much like creepy, crazy, creepy. Creepy. We're not going to go into so much crazy detail that like it takes forever. I'm just going to whiz through this and try to make this as short and sweet as possible but still give you guys information you need to make this uh, for your own kayak. This will not fit all kayaks by the way. This is just for my own kayak here, the Sun Dolphin Journey 10 SS. So I'm going to get started. Yeah. I was like, oh man, I got another question. I know I, I ain't from here, but 
Okay, a little halfway update here. So I've got my outriggers about halfway done. I've got the arms starting to come out, getting stuff glued in. On this part here, I'm gonna make these removable. So this only comes in so far. What I'm gonna do is get them where I want them and mark them. You can see here, this is kind of like a baseline. Uh, I'm gonna mark where I want them to be at. Then I'm gonna drill a hole straight through all the way through the bottom. I'm going to put a clip, so I can put a clip in there, just clip them on whenever I'm done, take that clip off, and pull them out, and go on with it. But that's where I'm at so far. What I've done is I've taken this pipe here, which is inch and a quarter, I believe, yeah, inch and a quarter, cutting small pieces, put in there, put my T in, glued all that in, got it where I wanted it, making sure it's straight-ish with the side of the kayak here, and then, yeah going from there. So I got one side kind of done. That's how it's going to look. The buoy is going to sit in there just like that. I still got to line it up so it's straight. Actually, I can do just like that right there. Whatever. It's not perfect. I still got to tweak it until I get it just right. But that's about what it's going to look like. filming for exactly one hour 55 minutes uh, I had zero plans to go by I literally just went off my eye and what I thought would work sure enough it looks like it's gonna work out so I'll show you guys a pretty much finished product what I'm gonna do is tie my buoys on go out make some adjustments and then come back and any adjustments I made I'll make them and then uh, make it all final and paint so for now, here's the final product. Nothing's lined up perfectly just yet, just by eye. As you can see, they stick out maybe 10 inches or so. So, let me go over again what I did. 
inch and a quarter pipe, probably three inches long. Put a T that had an inch and a quarter uh, reducer uh, with an inch and a half inner diameter, or I'm sorry, using that will adapt to inch and a half inner diameter pipe. This is a 45 degree inner, di inner diameter, or 45 degree half inch inner diameter elbow coming down to half inch conduit here, another half inch by half inch T, and just some caps, and that's it. Uh, this is untouched. These are about, we'll say about nine inches. These are about 11 inches. Uh, four of these, two of these. You'll need two of these, four of these, two of those, two of those, and I just got a little stick of that, which I only use like six inches of. So, as you can see, I've got a lot of extra uh, PVC. I bought a new thing of uh, cement, uh, PVC cement. I bought a can of paint. I got some hardware that I won't be using now. Um, all of this for uh, $40. So it's a $40 set of outriggers. Um, not including the cost of buoys. Now you don't have to use buoys. You can use anything buoyant. You can put you can put pull noodles on the end of these. I'm sure it'll work. But I want something super buoyant. What means I can get in there and just like thrash around do whatever I want because I'm crazy. So I'm thinking buoys will be awesome. Plus, I think it'll look a little better. But you can do pool noodles, which only costs like a dollar or whatever. Um, and then I still have to factor in the cost of the pins that I'm going to be putting in here. I'm, like I said before, I'm just going to be drilling a hole straight down all the way through this and putting a pin in once I get these set and marked exactly where I want. So, finished product. There you go. Alright guys, I know this isn't really like super fishing related, but I guess it was. It's a kayak, right? Okay, I'm going to be fishing off this, probably not a lot, because, I mean, I do have a boat. Probably not going to be fishing off this thing like a crazy amount. I just wanted one just because I wanted the challenge, and I found this one for pretty cheap. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I will get you guys another video probably soon of me actually on this. Uh, it actually already has a GoPro mount on the front, so be ready for that. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully it all works out, and this isn't for nothing. Although I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, um, I can try and post more. Not saying I'm going to be doing a whole lot of projects like this, but I like doing this kind of thing. A little crafty stuff. And getting about 8,000 mosquito bites. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And uh, I'll be posting more videos of just fishing. Not necessarily building kayak stuff, uh, fishing off a kayak, fishing off a boat, and fishing off the bank. Uh, also, tips, tricks, hints, all kinds of different fishing. You guys name it, and I can do it as well. So thank you guys for watching, as always. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. If you like this video, tell me what you thought about it. Or if you want to see a video similar to this one, tell me what you guys want, and I'll make one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.